All right, so I'm excited about this one. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna be talking about a tooling system that I got into and I've been using. Um, this is a tooling system that uh, not many machinists will know about unless they work in large companies with pretty good sized budgets. Because while this tooling is really convenient and really versatile, it's also really expensive. So um, unless you've got a good uh, budget, uh, you're typically not going to be using this tooling. This tooling will often be used in production lays, uh, mill turn lays. Since it has the advantage of quicker setup times and better repeatability, it's also a pretty rigid system. So the way this tooling works is it's a modular setup. So you have a holding system and then you have all the different types of heads that you would need, right? Like right and left hand and with the different uh, inserts and angles and um, part offs, like any type of head you can think of. And then they have shank holders ER collet holders um, that you can put end mills and boring bars in. Um, you know, if you want to use a smaller type of bar instead of just the regular head. Um, they have reducing adapters, they have extension adapters. So you can create uh, any type of length that you need, like if you got a deep bore that you're doing. You can just stack up those extensions and then put whatever type of head you want on the end. Um, and then these things are super repeatable, so you can um, just take off the head, put on a new head, and go back to machining and change the insert <clears throat> while the machine's uh, running. And then you can also go ahead and take out one holder, put in a different holder, and uh, start doing the next machining sequence, right? Just like on my um, Aloris tool post um, that I typically use for using uh, shank tooling and uh, your traditional type tooling uh, with the ID boring bars and stuff like that. And you just undo that handle and take, off, take it off and you slide on the new uh, tool and you tighten down the handle. This, you can um, just loosen that uh, screw and on the main holder, it's just like a half turn one way or the other to loosen and tighten. On the um, adapters, you do have to screw it a little bit more to tighten it down and then unscrew it. Um, but yeah, you just undo that, put in your new tool, tighten it back down, and go, go back to machining. So instead of uh, changing the tool on and off the Alors post, you can just um, use this modular setup to go from one tool to the other, you know? So now for me, this type of tooling, it would be typically out of my budget, um, but I got into it and I got quite a bit of tooling for it. And the way that I got that was, uh, there was an auction that I was looking at and they had this tooling and it uh, went for a reasonable price. Uh, so I wound up getting it. Yeah, so I got a pretty good discount and I'm stoked to, to have gotten this tooling and uh, be using it, you know. Uh, you can also, if you want to use this tooling, you can, get, uh, you can get quite a bit of it off of eBay. And that's, that's also the thing with tooling in general. Uh, if you're going to buy something and you don't need it right away and you don't need to get it right away from a distributor, um, I would recommend looking on eBay. You know, because a lot of this KM tooling is on eBay and it's uh, quite a bit cheaper than if you were to buy it from a distributor. Now, there are different uh, styles of this modular tooling by different manufacturers because each manufacturer seems to have their um, own unique twist on it. Um, KM tooling is basically Kenamel's version of this modular tooling. And then uh, Sandvik has a similar type of modular tooling that's called uh, the Capto. 
and I did work at a company back in the day that used uh, Capto tooling, and so I was pretty familiar with it. Uh, and that was that was over a decade ago. Um, I haven't used the KM tooling until now, um, but it's it's pretty similar to Capto. I'm I'm really digging it. And another thing that's really nice about using this tooling on my um, lathe is that it has through tool coolant, right? So when I made the um, holder for it, which I had to make a uh, an adapter to be able to use it on my Loris tool post, but when I made that holder for it, I just got that uh, coolant going through the holder and then going through the uh, modular setup. So I don't have to adjust the coolant for any of the tools that I use with this uh, tooling system. The coolant automatically goes through the tool and out uh, where it needs to be. Whereas, you know, with your traditional uh, tooling setup on these lays, you're always, you know, trying to point that hose, that coolant hose, where it needs to be, and you just spray coolant everywhere just to make sure that you get enough where you need it, you know? <laughs> so um, it's really nice not having to mess with coolant uh, with this setup. And uh, this tooling is also more rigid and bigger in diameter than uh, any traditional shank tooling that I'd be able to use in this lathe because the holders for the Aloris tool posts go up to inch and a half and the tooling that I got here at this auction, I got two different sizes. I got KM50 and KM40. And the KM50 is two inches in diameter, where the KM40 is inch and a half. Uh, so the KM40 does line up with the uh, max size that I was able to do uh, traditionally, where the KM50 is just that much uh, bigger, you know So all in all yeah, I'm pretty happy to have gotten this tooling and I Think I will need to get some different types of heads uh, to finish out the set to make it completely uh, Universal for all the types of machining that I would need to do but I got a pretty good start on it and Yeah, it's gonna be awesome